Hey guys, Sherman614 here. Um, if you remember, like if you're a really old subscriber of mine, then you'll remember that um, I do models. Uh, I got out of it a few, you know, about you know two years ago, but I started getting back into it about, about a month ago. I got um, this Subaru WRX STI, and I just kind of wanted to uh, show it off. I just painted in matte black, as you can see, since or flat black, whatever you want to call it. But I don't really want to spend the money at this point in time, and I really didn't have the money to spend, even if I could, on the Tamiya model polish and uh, all that stuff. And I really hate doing a model that has orange peel, so I just did it in flat black. Rims came with it, like a split. And I don't know if you can see, but the uh, brake calipers are red left that chrome lip around it because I just really love chrome lip rims. STI logo right there. It's hard to see that it says STI with the red paint. Um, STI logo decal actually. Rear. The muffler. I don't know if you can see it. I, um, the, the muffler tip itself I held over a flame to give it the, um, the smoked look like it's been used. Um, my brother-in-law kind of gave me that idea. I did not go with carbon fiber because I didn't know how the decal would, would fit over that ridge like that. Same goes for the hood. So I, didn't, I, I did not attempt it. Um, I really would like to buy another one of these and try it. Yeah, Subaru, and then another STI badge. Um, the car came with a roll cage, or a partial roll cage. The back seats I did not install. There is only a driver's side seat that I painted red to go along. I don't know, I just think the red and black look really good. It kind of matches the uh, STI logo as well. Hard to see, but I have two NOS bottles back there with a red wire going all the way to the firewall. Um, fire extinguisher, which came with the set. It's hard to see the interior, but there's some silver detail in there. Some detail on the dash. And the steering wheel, there's a Subaru logo on the steering wheel. Um, the, those two NOS bottles did not come with the model. They're not even NOS bottles. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna take over the light. I had I had a World War II weapons kit set made by Tamiya that came with all kinds of little bitty scale weapons and one of them was a flamethrower which had a dual tank and um, I cut them off and glued them together painted them blue and then painted a, a an orange stripe on each one of them look kind of like the uh, the NOS an actual NOS bottle and then I took an old guitar string, which is not my idea. I saw a guy here on YouTube, another fellow modeler, do that. So I thought it was a really good idea. So I took an old guitar string and uh, bent it so that it went all the way like down the little area right there and went all the way to the firewall. And then I painted it red just to give it some texture so you can see it. You know, just a little detail. The edges of the windshields were painted black. I took a toothpick and would dip it in the, uh, the paint and just basically sketch the outline. No tape, no anything. And uh, anything I missed, I went back with my fingernail. Um, the engine compartment, the STI logo, turbo, the battery, air cleaner. Take it over here to the lamp again. This is the first model I've done that I actually had detailed the engine. So, a few different colors in there. I looked up a picture of a stock STI motor just to get a reference. I tried to follow along as closely as I could. Um, this is a this is a uh, Revell model. Um, 
show you the box or something. It is a Revell Tuner Series Subaru WRX STI 3 in 1. And uh, side, you can uh, basically you can make it look stock just like that one, or you can add the wire style spoiler like that, or the stock one. Three different rim um, designs to choose from. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show it off. I'm actually really proud of this model. It's the first one that I've built that I'm actually like, really proud of that took a, a lot of time. Um, if you have any questions, just comment in and uh, I'll answer them uh, to the best of my knowledge. Alright guys, Sherman 614, peace.